Welcome to the first 10 minutes of Shovel Knight. In my first 10 minute series, I take an uninterrupted look at a game starting from the menu so you can get a true first impression look. For the first 10 minutes or so, there's just gameplay, no commentary. Then I give you my first impression thoughts afterwards. The timestamp for my commentary will be in the video description below. Let's get started.
Anybody else getting Mega Man vibes from this game? No, for real. This uh, Shovel Knight has a lot of that old school, nostalgic platforming, non you know, nonsense. <laughs> um, no, it's a ton of fun. This game is a true throwback, and I I have like a little short recorded script, not recorded script, but written script. Um, it kind of goes a little more in detail on my thoughts on that, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's simple. Side scroll, hit things with your shovel, move, jump. You got, it's, I mean, come on. Everybody has played a game like this. If you're watching this, um, this video, you have played a platformer like this of some kind, I would imagine. It'd be kind of surprising if you hadn't. Uh, well, actually, I'd be more impressed, really, because, uh, this is like, this is where it all began for a lot of games. I mean, this is a little more in-depth, and, you know, it's a 2015 game, I think it was, so the design has obviously come a long way, but this, I guess, mechanic? I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what you'd call it. This genre, this 2D platformer, this is what video games were on, you know, the earlier consoles. Like, you've got Pong and stuff for Atari and, and other games like that, and the old, old, old Legend of Zelda or the terrible E.T. game and everything, but as far as, like, for my childhood, this sort of side-scrolling thing, this 2D, um, you know, you play some character, you can attack things, and you fight bosses, this is what I kind of grew up on. Uh, my One of my favorites in this sort of genre is, and it's a Mario game, but it was Mario and the Six Golden Coins. I don't remember the exact title of it, but uh, man, I loved, loved, loved that game. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna talk briefly about some of the things I wrote down and this will be my script, we'll move on just cause this game kind of speaks for itself, so. Anyway, I love Shovel Knight, maybe not as much as I love Hollow Knight or Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, but I did spend many a night in Shovel Knight. And yes, that was a bit much, but I said to myself, Khan, if it's your YouTube channel, you can put whatever you want into the script, and so I listened to myself. And here I just died. Um, and when you die, you lose gold or your money, uh, much like Hollow Knight. And I actually really like that. Uh, it adds another layer of complexity and challenge into uh, making the right decisions. But anyway, when you first load up Shovel Knight, you're instantly hit with a wave of nostalgia. Between the 8-bit music, the graphics, and the menu design, the days of retro Mega Man handheld Mario platformers come rushing back to you. Upon choosing one of the three knights to play as, and yes, all three knights have a different narrative, a widely different playstyle, you're then greeted by a cutscene outlining the premise for that night's journey. From there the game begins and it has you moving around a top-down world selecting levels to play. In the case of Spectre Knight though, uh, this map is replaced by a hideout hub. And I actually really like that because um, as the game progresses with Spectre Knight, more and more people come to this hub and it's, uh, it's just a really interesting place to kind of set up like, it's just like a hideout, like, uh, I'm trying to think of a game that might have that. Like, if you think of, maybe in Jack 2, that little place where you'd go to talk to your people and get missions and stuff, um, that hideout, I don't remember what it was called, but something similar to that, of course. Um, anyway, <sighs> let me scroll here. Without going too in-depth on each night, just know that I am serious about each having a widely different narrative and playstyle, and it's true. I haven't actually played... Uh, Plague Knight? Is that the, I guess the weird sort of medieval doctor type guy. I haven't played him as much as I did. I beat the game with Spectre Knight and I beat the game with Shovel Knight. So, and those two alone had a vastly different narrative. Spectre Knight being not about uh, Shovel Knight or Shield Knight at all, really. Uh, but anyway, it's part of what makes Shovel Knight such a great deal. You essentially get three games for the price of one, and man, what a great game it is. It just feels good. Maybe not as good and smooth as Hollow Knight, which is probably one of the best that's ever been created recently. Um, but Shovel Knight has all the advantage of being created in an era that has essentially mastered the handheld controller. Playing some of these boss fights on an old Game Boy, or perhaps on an SNES controller, would have been really difficult. Oh, and there are some challenging platforming sections too, so having all the benefits of modern technology and the 30 or more years of video game design knowledge really helps in making the challenging sections of Shovel Knight feel approachable. 
Um, yes, there are boss fights. Uh, I believe that there are nine different boss fights that you uh, come across. And each has their own different stage and level. Think old Legend of Zelda Game Boy titles like Link's Awakening or Ages or Seasons when you've got these different uh, dungeons that are mechanically driven towards the boss or whatever. Um, and these can range from <laughs> fun and exciting to downright obnoxious. And I'm looking at you, Propeller Man, for Shovel Knight. All in all, Shovel Knight is a ton of fun, easy to pick up, and provides a variety of challenges for gamers of all skill levels. This is another one of those modern platformers that I think everyone should experience. It's a perfect tribute to the games of old, and for 25 bucks, you're really getting a great experience at a great price. I mentioned it above, but Shovel Knight is a perfect example of a classic style game done well in a modern era. You see, we've had 30 plus years of video game innovation, so if anything, revisiting these old gems makes perfect sense now that developers can apply modern practices to timeless classics. Take Link's Awakening as a perfect example of this, a classic game completely remastered for modern technology. Anyway, uh, enough monologuing about it, Shovel Knight is a gem. Go play it, buy it if you like the way it looks in this video, and if you enjoy this type of gameplay, you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave me a comment, a like, and consider subscribing. I have a Discord server that serves as more of a hub for my community of gamers, so if you feel like you'd want to be a part of that, you can find the link in the video description. It's really just a place for a bunch of adults to come together and talk about games, and and um, and we've met in different games, and so like we'll we'll be openly playing games and invite you know whoever has the game on Xbox is where we primarily play, but we have some PC people as well. Um, but yeah, you can join us. I mean, we've been playing a lot of Destiny. Um, some people have been playing Outer Worlds and talking about that. And then um, a big one recently is Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Just scaring ourselves in that game. But um, There is a short one minute application that you have to fill out by typing backslash apply in the, there will be an apply channel that you can see. Um, but that won't take very long and it's really there just to kind of vet people coming into the community um as uh, as some others have put it it's kind of like a douchebag filter just so you're not getting the trolls and you know whatever if you're listening to this and you're a troll just know that we will we're not you know if you start to act like not an adult i guess you're gonna get kicked out it's just a community where you need to be respectful and there are rules but you know that's how all discords are anyway thanks again for watching and have a fantastic day